Alright, so in this video we're going to look at evaluating logarithms without using a calculator. So the properties that we'll use is this one and this one. So here we have the log of b raised to the x with base b is equal to x. So what this means, if the base of the log and the base of this exponential term if these are the same, then your answer is your exponent. And then this one, b raised to the log of x with base b is equal to x. So you can see here the log is in the exponent. So if the base of the log and the base of the exponent, if these two are the same, then your answer is what you're taking the log of. So let's go ahead and work some examples. So we have quite a few here. We have, let's see, seven of them. All right, so the whole key to this is when we're evaluating without a calculator, you look at the base of the log. And whatever we're taking the log of here, we want to rewrite this as whatever this base is raised to a power if we can. All right, so let's look at this. I'll do it in a different color here. All right, so here we have the log of base 7 and 49. Can we rewrite that as 7 raised to a power? Well, sure. 49 can be written as 7 squared. And now you can see these two are the same, so my answer is my exponent. And so that would equal 2. All right, let's take a look at the next one. So here we have log base 2. Now this 1 8, can we rewrite this as 2 raised to a power? Well, let's look at the 8. Well, we know 8 can be written as 2 raised to the third. So that would be 1 over 2 cubed. Okay, but notice here, notice here how the 2 is in the denominator. Okay, so what we need to do is take this term here and move it up into the numerator. And remember, whenever you move it up, when you move a term across the fraction bar, it changes the sign of the exponent. So when we move this up, that becomes 2 to the negative 3. It changes the sign of this exponent. And this is base 2. And now since these are the same, our answer is our exponent. So that would be negative 3. All right, so how about this one? The log of square root of 6 with base 6. So that's going to be the log base 6. Now let's look at this square root of 6. Can we rewrite that as 6 to the 1 half power? Yes. That can be, the square root of 6 can be written as 6 to the 1 half. Remember, remember the property that says the nth root of a is equal to a to the 1 over n. So whatever this index is becomes the denominator here in the exponent. This is going from radical form to exponential form. And remember when there's not a number here, it's understood to be 2. So th there's the 2. Alright, now since these are the same, our answer is our exponent, which is 1 half. Alright, so how about this one? So that's going to be log base 2 of 1 over and the square root of 2, we're going to rewrite as 2 to the 1 half, just like we did this square root of 6, except this time the square root of 2, that's in the denominator. So that's 2 to the 1 half, which is in the denominator. And what do we need to do? Well, just like we did with this problem here, we're going to move this up into the numerator. And when we do that, when we move this up, it changes the sign of the exponent. So that's log, oh, I'm sorry, I already have log written. So that's going to be 2 to the negative 1 half. When I move it up, it changes the sign of the exponent, 
and so now these are the same so our answer is negative one half alright so how about this one well that's the log of with base 81 now we need to rewrite 9 as 81 raised to a power so that's 81 well 81 raised to what power is 9 well that's to the one-half power because remember one-half power remember 81 to the one-half that's the same thing as the square root of 81 which is 9 so all we did is we rewrote the 9 as 81 to the one-half okay all right and so now these are the same so our answer is our exponent which is one-half all right so what about this one well here base is five this is a five well the exponent here there's not an exponent so it's understood to be a one since these are the same my answer is my exponent which is one all right so what about number seven eight raised to the log of nineteen with base eight well this is this property see if these are the same your answer is what you're taking the log of. Alright, so look at this. This and this are the same, so my answer is what I'm taking the log of, which is 19. Alright, so let me go ahead and add a couple more here. Let's do number 8. Let's do the natural log of e to the ninth. Okay, now remember natural log of x is the same thing as log of x with base e it's understood to be base e so this is understood to be a base e here so since this e which we can't see but it's understood to be that and this e are the same my answer is my exponent which is nine And let's look at another one. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right, so what about log of 1,000? Well, there's not a base here. And this is log, L-O-G. So remember, log of x is the same thing as log of x with base 10. If there's not a log there, it's understood to be base 10. So, we want to see if we can rewrite 1000 as 10 raised to a power, because this is understood to be a 10 here. And 1000 is 10 cubed. Now that the base of 10 and this 10 are the same, our answer is our exponent, which is 3. Alright, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, thanks.